weighing in. We conclude our preview of all 14 weight classes in the NJSIA Wrestling Championships with the big boys, 285 pounds. I'm Joe Dallas. This is Pat Lanny and Bill Evans, and this is the last of our previews. Guys, we started this with the we started this weight class with the defending state champ and a very loaded bottom of the bracket. Pat, talk a little bit about top seeded Eric Chaconis of Don Bosco Prep. I, I really like Chaconis because he's the he seems like the perfect blend of a heavyweight. He's not hulkish. He's not uh, he, he, he's strong. He's toned. Um, he's a little bit smaller, so he's, unlike some other guys that don't score, don't attack, try to win by rideouts, try to win one nothing. Chaconis is a guy that's going to get after you, he's going to try to pin you, and I think his offensive style um, gives him a little bit of an edge. Last year, um, maybe he wasn't that dominant favorite, um, he came in, his, his big thing is his confidence wasn't there. He really got his confidence up, went on a great run, won the heavyweight title, kept the belt in the family, uh, we talked about that earlier and really cemented himself as the guy to beat for this year at heavyweight, and he's wrestled like that all year long. Well, I think the guy who is the second best kid in the weight class, at least in my eyes, is Nick Rivera at Brooklyn Memorial. He is an interesting story. Two years ago, he lost to the older Chaconis in the state final. Last year, he got beat on Friday night and no-showed the rest of the, tour rest of the tournament. You know, still remains a mystery as to why, but he has wrestled like a demon. He has looked athletic, he has looked powerful, he's taken shots, he's running halves, he's, he's doing all the things, and, and like Jaconis, he's not a, a, a big, heavy, sloppy heavyweight. This kid is an athlete, and, and I think he's going to be a force to be reckon, reckoned with out of the bottom, but he's got some pretty good challengers there, Bill. Yeah, and, you know, um, you, you just look at the, this first round matchup, Michael Porcaro from Sayreville against Charles Porter from North Hunter. You know, Cordic was undefeated until he was in place in the region. Again, a year ago, he would have been going home. Now, he, he's still alive, and, and he is, you know, he's very capable of getting on the podium. Um, you know, and, and it's that, that, that could be one of the best first-round matchups that we see all tournament. Dylan Diamore uh, for Montgomery's the three seed there. Um, obviously, he's, uh, you know, he's made a nice run last year, and he's got this is, Good a chance as anybody on, on that side of the bracket. Lorenzo Hernandez from Cherry Hill West, the 10 seed, very, very athletic going to Villanova to, to play football. Um, and and there's just, just plenty, of, like I said, there's a lot of guys on, on this side, um, may, maybe more so than on the other, that, that can maybe get in Rivera's way and, and prevent him from going back to the state final. Well, there's got to be somebody who can make life a little bit difficult for, Ch for Chaconis up top. Can, you know, the question is, can Keith Swartley, the number four seed from Cinnamon and Bill, can he score enough points? I mean, he's an expert at winning close matches. We know that for sure. Yeah, for, for years now, Swartley, three-time region champ. Um, you know, last year he won all, all three of his region uh, champ, region matches, won nothing. Uh, didn't place in the States, just, just missed out. This year, he's scored a little more, he's pinned a little more, but, you know, when it comes down to it, uh, you know, region final against Lorenzo Hernandez, uh, won that two to one on a ride out. Um, it, that's what he does best. Now, you know, he does, might not score a lot, but you know he's pretty good at not letting the other guys score. So if it gets into a tiebreaker situation or an ultimate tiebreaker situation, that's going to play to his favor. You know, can he do that? Can he get to Chaconis and avoid getting taken down and get into that overtime where maybe it shifts into his favor? You know, I guess that's going to be the question. You know, there are a couple other guys though that I like up top. Um, Alex Exposito is 29 old. He's transferred. Um, it's the fifth seed. He's done the job all year. Not a big kid, so but him and Chaconis might be interesting as as they move forward. And you know, Parker Fox is up there. He's he's only lost once all year, so uh, he would get Chaconis early in the tournament. So let's get to it, guys. Last weight class, last picks of the tournament. Patrick, give me your final and who wins. Yeah, I I, I really like what Nick Rivera is doing. I, I I like that you say he's wrestling like a demon. I, that's a good way to put it. I I, I think he's tough and he's got a a, a good background. Um, I like him out of the bottom bracket, but he's going to have a really tough potentially semifinal against a guy we haven't mentioned, Elysier Oliveri from Union City. A guy maybe not from a wrestling powerhouse, but a guy who's very physical, very strong, um, j just tough, just tough. So look out for Oliveri in that semifinal, but I think Rivera will do enough to win. But I think this has been Chaconis' weight all year long, and he's proven that, and he'll finish the job here. Bill, what do you think? <laughs> Yeah, with Chaconis, I know we had some questions last year. Uh, you know, he'd come up from 
being a above average 220 pounder to really just you know becoming a great heavyweight as the year went on um, and, and he, he finished the job and I think he's much better this year so if he was able to win it last year I think he's going to win it this year who's he going to face I, I'll, I'll you know it could be anybody um, I'm going to just say Dylan Diamore for, for Montgomery gets gets through he said he made a nice run last year and I think maybe he gets to the final but Chaconis will be too much for him well I, I think it's going to be a really interesting uh, semifinal between Oliveri and Diamore um, Pat referred to all of the area as a diesel, and I thought that was, you know, I pictured that as a powerhouse and a kid who's going to, you know, try and bully you around a little bit. I just got to tell you, I, I've been one of the doubters all year with Nick Rivera, but he really looks good, and I think the athleticism is there. The question is, is his head going to be there? If it is, I think he goes to the final, but I'm still going to take Jaconis to win the thing, just like you guys did. So that's it from us. Bill Evans, Pat Lanny, I'm Joseph Dallas. Thank you for watching, weighing in, and we'll see you in Atlantic City.